Thank you. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful uh, to be receiving this award. Uh, and in particular, I'm very grateful to be a part of this theater community. Uh, it's a community that some of which I feel like I am building every day with the uh, brilliant and inspiring people around me, uh, and some of which I am welcomed into by the amazing people who have gone before me, who I've looked up my entire life, looked up to my entire life, uh, and this is, this is very deeply meaningful. Um, and so I just want to say thank you so much to the Larson family and the Jonathan Larson Foundation uh, and the American Theatre Wing and everybody involved with this process. Um, so many writers I admire have won this award, including everybody else who has won it tonight. Uh, and I am honored to be in their company. Um, I'm also beyond lucky to have a huge number of people in my life and to always have had a huge number of people in my life who care about me and who I care about. Uh, my family and my friends uh, and my boyfriend, actually my dad David, my aunt Jean, uh, and my boyfriend Isaac are all here tonight. Um, and uh, I'm them, my collaborators, my friends, uh, t my teachers, people who I, I can't even begin to express how lucky I am to have had them in my life. Um, I, I just want to share this with you, uh, though none of the money. Um, <laughs> one, one thing I love about a musical is that it is a, it's a template. Ultimately, it's a template. Uh, it's not a, uh, a final product. It's not a recording you can listen to. It's not uh, something you can watch. Uh, it's a guide. Here's the script. Here's the score. It mostly lines up with the script. Uh, and uh, maybe if you're lucky, you get a cast album you can listen to. Maybe there's a video you can watch. But ultimately, it's up to the actors, the directors, the designers, the crew, uh, the musicians. You know, they have to figure it out. They have to make it happen. Uh, when someone writes a musical or a song, you, you're writing for other people to get together and do something. Even after a writer is gone, the best material is a brilliant, flexible blueprint that never fades. This is so new renditions can refract through different generations and communities. This is so new productions can continue to move and inspire everybody involved with putting them up. This is so that a 10-year-old in his elementary school show choir can sing Seasons of Love and finally hearing it in his own voice suddenly wonder how someone came up with such a powerful idea. Wonder how they set it to music. In particular, wonder how they managed to take such a long, boring integer and <laughs> make it sound iconic and, and beautiful. It's, it's lines like that that make you want to write songs. It's shows like Rent that make you want to write musicals. Uh, and it's writers like Jonathan who remind you to stay true to your voice and put the stories on stage that you yourself want to see. Uh, and it's grants like this that allow writers like me to actually do that. Um, so I am beyond grateful, and uh, thank you so much for having me as part of this. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk in this mic as, as people get set up. Um, so, uh, I'm about to bring way too many people on stage right now. Um, but uh, I'm gonna share a song also from a, from a work in progress, a show I'm working on right now called Devotion. Uh, this is the opening number, so I'm not gonna tell you that much about it. Uh, the show takes place in a fictional town of Braxton, Ohio. Uh, Wanda Lee, uh, who will be sung by Sophia Ann Caruso, um, is uh, the main character. 
And uh, in this opening moment, uh, she is um, in the southern part of Ohio, uh, edge of Braxton, right along the Ohio River, looking over into Kentucky. Um, and uh, this song's kind of like Good Morning Baltimore a little bit, but uh, <laughs> a different town. Um, <laughs> All these people on stage are amazing, uh, and uh, I love them very much. Please, do we have to uh, look them up in the program? In particular, I want I want to acknowledge Mike Brun, though, who is playing synth bass, and uh, he uh, is an amazing composer himself, but is also an incredible arranger. And he helped me put this sound together, and I just am very grateful to him. Uh, this is called "Where Am I."
Just a 